Welcome to worship with the churches of Cowie, Pleen, and Bannockburn Allen, and welcome to you from wherever you are worshipping. Let us pray. In this week which has gone past, can we recognise times when we have been able to help others? Times when we have been kind-hearted and when either by our actions or our words we have held out, as it were, a helping hand to another person. Let us then thank God for opportunities to do that and for the reality that we were able to respond in that way. Lord, hear our prayers. In this week which has gone past, can we perhaps also recognise times when we have been a little less than kind-hearted, when either by our actions or our words we have done or said something and we should have handled it differently. Let us also thank God for the opportunity to recognise that and let us now bring it before God in our prayers. Let us pray for the other person. And let us pray for ourselves. God does not call us to worship in order to condemn us or make us feel bad, but rather to help us to become ever more of the person we truly are and that he wants us to be. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us bring to God whatever else is very much with us just now. Perhaps that which we are aware of in the wee small hours of the night as we lie awake, or that which is with us as we awaken in the morning, or that which passes fleetingly through our mind, or that which is ever with us. Let us bring this to God and ask for his help. Lord, hear our prayers. And now join me, if you will, in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And we're now going to listen to a hymn which we have heard recently, Spirit of the Living God. <laughs> 